IBS and colon cancer share many of the same symptoms, and it's impossible to tell the difference between them based only on how you feel. I'll help you figure out how to tell the difference and what to do. I'm Dr. Stephen Wangen, the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center. We see a lot of IBS patients, and we have to be certain that patients don't have colon cancer. So how do we do that? Well, can IBS be confused for colon cancer? Well, the symptoms of IBS and colon cancer are exactly the same. With either one, you can have diarrhea or constipation or gas or bloating or abdominal pain, and there is no way to tell the difference between IBS and colon cancer based just on your symptoms. IBS pain and colon cancer pain can be, and often are, exactly the same and IBS stool and colon cancer stool can and often are exactly the same. Although it is possible to have blood in your stool when you have colon cancer, having blood in your stool does not mean that you have colon cancer. And it also doesn't rule out having IBS either. Fortunately, most people that have IBS don't have colon cancer. But colon cancer is one of the most common cancers and you want to make sure that you aren't one of the people who does have it. And the primary way to do that is to see a gastroenterologist who will usually perform a colonoscopy to rule out colon cancer. They may also do some other imaging work to help diagnose it. And another common and newer tool for ruling out colon cancer is a stool test that detects colon cancer. And this is a very useful test, but it does not and should not replace the colonoscopy. Now, why not? Now, the stool test can only pick up a problem once you already have colon cancer. It does nothing to prevent colon cancer. However, a colonoscopy can prevent colon cancer, and that's super important because a colonoscopy will detect polyps, which are how colon cancer starts. Now, not all polyps are precancerous, but when you have a colonoscopy, your doctor will usually remove any polyps that they see. And that absolutely does prevent colon cancer. And the earlier you have those polyps removed, the less likely it is that you will develop colon cancer. So you know the old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And this is a great example of that. Preventing cancer is far more important than having to try to treat it later on down the road. So I encourage you to not be satisfied with only doing the stool test for ruling out colon cancer. But be forewarned, your doctor, who essentially works for your insurance company, will often recommend a stool test instead of a colonoscopy because it's a lot less expensive for the insurance company to do the stool tests on everyone than to give them all a colonoscopy when they should have one. So you may have to push back. And don't take no for an answer. And I can tell you from personal experience, even I had to push my doctor, I know, crazy, right? To refer me for a colonoscopy when I turned 50. So literally I was over 50 and he wasn't gonna do or refer me out for the colonoscopy. And I said, no, we're gonna go, I'm gonna have a colonoscopy. Even though I didn't have any symptoms because I knew that was the smartest thing to do. And guess what, they found a polyp and they removed it. And I'm glad that I had the colonoscopy, right? Yeah, yeah, well you will be too. So, all right, will a colonoscopy detect IBS? Now most people with IBS will be referred to a gastroenterologist to rule out cancer, colon cancer, of course, and many other things. And if you haven't had a colonoscopy done, then I highly recommend that you do one, as you can tell already. But colonoscopies are very good at ruling out colon cancer and checking your colon for a lot of other problems. However, on the flip side, they do absolutely nothing for your IBS. You can't see IBS with a colonoscopy and you can't treat IBS with a colonoscopy. So be aware that a colonoscopy will only help to rule out other problems, but it won't help you with your IBS. Now that's important to rule those out, right? And once you have those other issues ruled out by the colonoscopy, then you need to see an IBS specialist like we have at the IBS Treatment Center. 
Now, does IBS increase your risk of developing colon cancer? Now, studies are very conflicted on this one. Some say that having IBS does increase your risk of developing colon cancer, and others say that it doesn't. And one reason that may be for this is that people are possibly being diagnosed or misdiagnosed with IBS when they have colon cancer, and that those people are throwing off the results of some studies because then, they, of course, they subsequently figure out that they have colon cancer after their IBS diagnosis. Now, that might be true, and it's even more reason to make sure that you always have colon cancer ruled out when you have these kinds of digestive sy symptoms. Now, can you have both IBS and colon cancer? Well, absolutely, yes, you can. You can certainly have both IBS and colon cancer. About 10% of the population has IBS, and about 4% of the population gets colon cancer. So there is a percentage of people, obviously, in overlap, who are going to have both. Now, could you have IBS, and have you had colon cancer ruled out? Please be sure that you do. And if you need help solving your IBS, schedule a virtual appointment with us. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more useful information about your health.